you probably already know the basics of Visual Studio Code, but in this video I will show you some of the more advanced features that you might not know about. Setting up a new HTML file can be challenging, but Emmet makes it a dream. Even just creating a div with a class is really fast. But what about adding a child or a sibling? What about a list with numbered classes? Or what about some filler text? Using the command palette even allows us to wrap something in a HTML tag. But what if you accidentally left caps lock on? There's a command for that. Same for uppercase. And sometimes we need to restart VS Code entirely, and that's super easy with the reload command. Navigating to a function definition is really easy with control click. Alt plus arrow left will get you back to the last place you were, or even better, the mouse side buttons can be used to navigate as well. Really useful when you are for example checking some interface. I actually feel a bit useless when I can't do this with the computer mouse. Using just one cursor is too slow. Need to change all vars to const? Ctrl D until all are selected and then just change away. Or just Ctrl Shift I to get them all in one go. Having a list of items you want to wrap individually, hold down the mouse wheel button and drag to select them all. Everything you now do is applied to all lines in the same way. The clipboard is even independent for each line. You can even use the mouse wheel to select a block of code. You can move multiple lines of code up and down with Alt plus arrow up and down and even duplicate lines by holding down Shift as well. Committing your recent changes has never been easier than with a built-in Git tool in VS Code. You can see every change, create a new branch and push away without remembering a single git command. New or changed files are colored in the explorer, and even lines are marked as well when changed or added. You can also handle entire merge conflicts directly in VS Code. VS Code can be improved further with some great plugins. GitLens is the plugin that gives Git in VS Code superpowers. Quickly see who is to blame for any line you are on usually yourself, and see all previous commits for the line or for the file in one great side panel. Material icons improve the default ones and add a lot of new icons as well. This will help you visually distinguish between file types a lot faster. Code formatting is a tricky problem with a lot of strong opinions. Prettier aims to solve this by giving you one great format so we can stop fighting over it. It also allows for some barebone configuration, but it's intentionally kept basic. Format any document using Prettier with a Shift-Alt-F shortcut. It's really easy to introduce a spelling error in your code that is not found until you have misspelled it in a dozen files. Code Spell Checker solves this by highlighting the misspelled word even in camel case, saving you a lot of time. Most frameworks have a CLI that gives you live reloading when you change something. But what if you're just working on a simple HTML JavaScript CSS setup? The Live Server plugin will help you reload your web page on any change and significantly speed up your development speed. Having so many great plugins is awesome, but having to install all of them again on a new computer is annoying. But there's actually a plugin called Setting Sync that will help you synchronize plugins, settings, themes, and key bindings across computers. And it's actually becoming a part of Visual Studio Code really soon, as seen in the Insider build. VS Code is hiding many small tips and tricks. Selecting an entire block of something can be a bit annoying, but expand selection with Shift, Alt, Arrow, Right speeds this up greatly. Adding a new line at any time is easy with Control plus Enter even if you're in the middle of the line. Oh no, you just closed the file by accident. Just hit Control Shift T to reopen it. You can trust that VS Code has you back. One great example of this is how it prevents you from overriding a changed file on disk. It will automatically update the file if it's not dirty or not changed by you, but VS Code will warn you if you have any unsaved changes in the file. 
Saving this file now will give you a warning where you can check what has changed before saving. Never lose code again. And that's it. That was my advanced tips for VS Code. I really hope you found these tips useful and if you have any additional tips, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you here again in the future.